your colors do not match when you export the video to the ones that you've been color grading in the software. So for example, if you're using a Resolve and the MacBook, VLC oversaturates my videos and the QuickTime desaturates my videos. That used to be the case, but not anymore. So let me show you what I have found. Go to the settings on the right bottom corner and go to your color management to set up this way. Color science to be DaVinci YRGB and uh, time color space Rec 709 and output color space sRGB. This is an important one. Then you click on save. You're going to go to your color. What is important is that in this situation I have color graded it in DaVinci white gamut, but uh, you can ignore this because what I have here is a color space transform from Sony to DaVinci and from DaVinci to, this is the important part here, output color space. Then you do your color correction, adjustments, whatever, these are just uh, not mandatory. Once you finish your color grading and you go to the delivery uh, page, so most used delivery codec would be H.264 or H.265. In either way, you're going to leave everything as it is, the color space tag and the gamma tag, same as project. So it's going to tag same as it was chosen in the project and it's going to be sRGB. Let's make a test here. If I just export this little part and uh, put it on the desktop, test and add to render, replace. I did a lot of testing before, so you can see. And open the test file in VLC. And take a look at this. Take a look at the contrast ratios between and the saturation of QuickTime VLC and the one that we've been color grading. So try this out and please let me know in the comments if it works for you. I really hope that it did. And if I solved your problem with this, please, please, please put a like on this video. Hopefully to see you soon and give you another tip. Ciao.